I just got back from a trip to Colorado where I helped the Colorado Railroad Museum operate the Polar Express. Something hit me when I was out there about the connection between trains and music for me. I knew that I wanted to do some filming while I was out there and maybe make a video and when I was talking it over with my girlfriend as far as trip plans, she said that I should do something about the rhythm of the trains and the rhythm of the sounds that they make. And it's kind of funny, I was actually running the Rio Grand Southern number 20 to the North Pole when I realized that she had a really good point about steam locomotives and how rhythmic their sounds are, I had this thought come into my head that my love of steam trains may have actually helped me in my early music career. So when I was about two years old, I was at my grandparents' house and they took me down to see my granddad's massive Lionel collection in the basement. And I kind of fell in love with the Lionel trains and, and all that stuff that my granddad had. And I would proceed to spend you know, most of the weekends of my childhood, going to hang out with my granddad and play with model trains and listen to him tell stories about the railroad and all that. And one of the interesting things about my granddad is that he was actually the inventor of the first sound system for model trains. He was actually the first guy to take little model trains like these guys and put speakers in them and, and send messages through the rail to the locomotives and make them make sounds on the fly. And as such, I spent a lot of time listening to train sounds. We would run this little model of Denver and Rear Grand 346 that that just was. Um, we'd spend, a, you know, our whole day on Saturday just running it back and forth on a little eight-foot section of track while he talked about the railroad and whatever and would talk about the sound system and how it worked and and how the sounds are recorded and all that. That's really what started my love of sound and steam locomotives in particular. Ever since I was a kid and, and all the way up through now, I've always thought that steam locomotives are really cool and, and I didn't really care for diesel locomotives or electric powered locomotives or anything like that because they, they just weren't as interesting. And I always thought it was just a visual thing or a feel thing. But when I was in Colorado, I had the realization that I think it's the sound piece of it that makes it for me. So the, the funny piece of the story is that this model is a model of Denver and Rio Grande Western number 346. And it was the one that we shared all of our memories together with. And so when it was time to go look at colleges, I discovered that the Colorado School of Mines was in Golden, Colorado. And that is where the real Denver and Rio Grande Western number 346 lives. And so the School of Mines, which I knew nothing about, quickly became high on the list of places to visit so that I could go see the real locomotive that I used to play with all the time with my granddad. And so we went and visited. It turned out to be a fantastic college. I ended up going there to get a bachelor's in mechanical engineering, and I also got a minor in music technology and the recording arts. So, yeah, it makes sense, right? And it was while I was at the Colorado School of Mines that I actually got involved with the museum, Colorado Railroad Museum, where the 346 is. And it ended up becoming more than just volunteer, it became a, an actual job for me. And I spent most of my non-class time while I was at the School of Mines at the Colorado Railroad Museum doing a number of different things. But that's why I still go back and visit a couple times a year and try to help them out with their operations and get to go see great friends and have fun and all that. But the point of my YouTube channel is to talk about music, right? So how does this all tie back in? I had the thought that when I started playing instruments, I started on drums. And it always came kind of naturally and it felt right and I always had a pretty good sense of rhythm. And I've been wondering if it was the early exposure to the locomotives and the sounds of the locomotives that helped me get there. Because it wasn't just, oh, it's a train and it makes choo-choo sounds. It was really precise because the reason we ran that little model 346 back and forth, it was one of my granddad's only models that had a chuff cam on it, a little sensor on one of the axles that made sure that the exhaust beats of the steam engine matched up with the wheel rotations like the real one. And it was a big point that the rhythm had to match and it had to feel right with the speed of the locomotive. And so I had an early sense of how rhythm was important from the steam locomotives that then trans translated into music. And I think it's the rhythm of those steam locomotives that make them so interesting. Because the engine runs 
relatively slow compared to, say, the engine in your car, you hear every exhaust beat instead of just a, a constant thrum like you would with a big diesel engine. So you get to hear each individual exhaust and, and it's very rhythmic. And the sounds of the rods sync up with that. And the sounds of the wheels sync up with that. And you can hear a number of different things that are all tied in that same rhythm with a constant quarter note beat of the exhaust of the locomotive. Everything about the sounds of the locomotives is kind of rhythmic and musical when you think about it that way. So I wasn't able to shoot a whole video while I was out at the museum. I was too busy actually helping out and the sound situation wasn't so good for recording either in the roundhouse. I did take some short clips of some of the rhythmic pieces and I took video with my cell phone, with my cell phone tucked into my overall front pocket to give kind of a first person railroad experience. I wanted to show you guys that and while you're watching, try to listen for those rhythms that I was talking about. Alright, my semaphore is changing. Green signal, here we go. enjoyed this little video talking about some of my musical history and, and how I tie my railroad experience and my childhood into it and how those things influence me as a musician. As always, give the video a like, give the channel a subscribe, and we'll see you next time.